My name is Patrice Simon. I'm a professor at the University of Toulouse 3 Paul Sabatier in Toulouse in France. In terms of application, for sure, this is the electric mobility, but also grid storage, uh, uh, which is something, to my opinion, which uh, makes a lot of sense now, taking into account uh, all the political and geopolitical issues with uh, uh, energy supply and so on and so on. So we need batteries to, uh, to buffer, to store electricity from renewable and so on. Then regarding the technical challenges, I think that the most important challenge here today is the development of solid state batteries. Because this is one only way to really move beyond 450 or to reach 450, 500 watt hours per kilogram. And um, this is highly challenging because of uh, some limitations, mainly uh, interface reactivities and so on. But yeah, one of the key issues is the development of solid state batteries technology. This is a highly desirable, highly suitable for sure. I would like, I would like to believe in it. I don't know if we will make it because there are some uh, alternative energies which are uh, CO2 free, CO2 emission free like uh, nuclear power and so on and so on. So I think that it's going to be super difficult to reach the goals. It's also, uh, we'll have some political issues and regarding batteries. Batteries will definitely help in, uh, in uh, the decarbonation of, uh, of energy, but we must be aware also batteries are using some critical materials. So one of the questions will be how batteries will uh, be able to develop within this context of uh, uh, geopolitical issues and criticity of materials and so on. I'm not going to be very original because I believe that uh, lithium-based batteries is going to be there for the next decade and maybe beyond. Uh, it's very difficult to, uh, to start to think about uh, a system without lithium, uh, lithium in, but I would say um, if you are talking mainly about the cathode, sulfur, lithium sulfur could be a very good option uh, with solid state electrolyte. And then if we dream, we could dream about uh, aqueous zinc air batteries. That would be a very, uh, I mean, that would be a great, great objective. But so far, uh, there are still a lot of issues. If you are talking about grid storage, redox row batteries can do the job as well. You can use vanadium, which is also a kind of critical material, but there are plenty of different uh, redox couple, uh, alternative redox couple that you can use. And um, for uh, also grease storage with sodium sulfur, it's a good alternative despite it's a, it's a high temperature. My final answer will be lithium is there for, for long. We can think about different cathodes still using lithium metal. And uh, if you want to shift completely from, lith from lithium, it's going to be a, a huge breakthrough. Uh, then we can think about calcium, magnesium, and aqueous batteries. I, I follow a CIC Energy Unit for years, and I believe that this is a unique, um, at least in Europe, it's a very important, uh, um, I would say, center, because you mix together high-level research and technology. I would say in this uh, research topic, which is batteries, we cannot do only basic research without being interested in it, how you make a battery, and this is why uh, CIC Energy Guinea has uh, so many uh, skills and uh, so, uh, I would say, uh, talentful people, but it's a super excellent center in batteries. And uh, for the next year, I believe that we'll be heard about uh, CIC uh, Energy Guinea for a while. Uh, this is now that everything is happening in batteries. So I'm working on batteries since uh, my PhD, 1995. And this is uh, only the past two, three years, but we see so huge, I would say, uh, enthusiasm for batteries and fundings are there. Jobs, which is the key for young people, jobs. They are, I mean, gigafactories are hiring a lot, a lot, a lot. So, so this is really timely. Uh, if you are interested in, uh, in the future, in, uh, I would say, uh, 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 fighting against uh, uh, CO2 emissions and come to do your, your, your uh, uh, study in, in the battery field because first, it's a super interesting field, and then you will have a lot of a lot of opportunities for jobs, for for entering academic and so on. So yeah, join. <laughs>